Associated Rewinds Ireland Limited is a privately owned company based in Dublin. Established in 1986, it uses world-class technology for the remanufacture, overhaul and repair of AC and DC traction motors for the rail industry. Associated Rewinds Ireland Limited arranges the collection and redelivery of traction motors from our customers' depots throughout Europe to our facilities in Dublin. The overhaul process begins by recording the nameplate data and carrying out a visual inspection. Relevant photos are recorded before and during disassembly. Preliminary tests are carried out to determine the general condition of the windings. The pinion or coupling is removed using the oil injection method. The motor is then locked and secured on the hydraulic workbench and raised to a vertical position. After unfastening all the bolts, the armature is removed from the stator. The pinion end cover is removed from the armature and the commutator end cartridge and brush holder assemblies are removed from the stator frame. Bearing assemblies and component parts are removed from the armature. The armature is connected to one of the two Phoenix core lost test stations to record the integrity of the laminated core whilst also looking for hot spots. The armature is thoroughly cleaned in the Prosecco rotary traction motor washer. The armature is oven dried, a process which typically takes 24 hours. After the armature has cooled down to room temperature, the commutator risers are glass blasted to remove all tarnish or flaking material. The armature is then placed in the Baker Automatic armature testing machine and fully tested including AC high pot DC high pot test, bar to bar resistance test and bar to bar surge test. After testing, the armature is sprayed with anti-tracking insulderm and set up on the lathe to skim it. The armature is then set up in the cam automatic undercutting machine and the commutator is undercut and burnished in both directions. The armature is set up on a balancing machine and dynamically balanced to the required tolerance. The pinion, where fitted, is lapped to the motor shaft to ensure a minimum of 90% contact. New inner bearing assemblies are fitted to the armature. The stator frame is then thoroughly cleaned in the Prosecco rotary traction motor washer. The stator frame is then oven dried, a process which typically takes 24 hours. With the stator at room temperature, the windings are fully tested, including high pot and surge tests. Frame amping tests are also performed on the individual windings to verify the integrity of the internal connections. The stator windings are then sprayed with anti-tracking insulderm. Prior to assembly, the stator frame is set up on the horizontal boring machine and dimensionally qualified. All the ancillary motor parts are washed in an industrial washer, rinsed with an anti-rust inhibitor and fully dried. Brush holders and insulators are then overhauled and tested. The brush spring tension is qualified and recorded. Overhauled brush gear and relevant bearing components are fitted to the stator frame in preparation for the assembly. The stator casing is then set up on a hydraulic workbench, locked and secured and raised to a vertical position. The armature is prepared for assembly by fitment of the end cover and bearing components. The armature is then positioned vertically and carefully lowered into the stator frame. The armature is prepared for assembly by fitting the end cover and bearing components. All the locating bolts are torque tightened to the required tolerance. New brushes are fitted. The commutator profile is recorded and must be within specified tolerances. The motor is mounted on the test bed and run for several hours in both directions. Bearing temperatures, vibration levels, voltages and amps are recorded. The motor frame is then spray painted. The motor pinion or coupling is refitted. The completed motor receives a final quality inspection. The motor is then packaged and strapped to a pallet in preparation for dispatch. Should a motor require a stator or armature rewind, 
Additional processes to those in the overhaul include the manufacture of field coils, interpole coils and armature coils, and the rewinding of armatures and stators. The finished product is vacuum pressure impregnated in either our silicone or epoxy VPI process. <laughs>